Hi, everybody. This is John Graydon with the Mata Minute. We're going to talk today about the curriculum pyramid. Most schools teach a curriculum that is somewhat like this, where the white belt at the bottom, the lowly white belt, is hit with all kinds of new material. He has to learn all the traditional basics. He's got to learn the kicks. He's got to learn the stances. He has to learn maybe some kata. So he ends up learning a whole lot. And as he goes through the ranks over the course of three to five years towards his black belt, each belt represents less and less new material, and the focus is on refinement. The problem is that once you get to, to the top, essentially there's, the new material is pretty much stopped coming in. It's certainly not coming in at the same rate. So there's a real risk of boredom at this point. So when we do curriculum redesigns, we like to move it into more of a linear fashion where we take a lot of the material in the front and we push it to the back. We typically either eliminate all the traditional material or put it back into the second year of the student's martial arts life. We believe that traditional martial arts does not provide the student with an enjoyable experience that provides instant value for them. There's too much of this, you don't really do it this way, but you'll understand it later stuff when you're teaching that material early in the rank. But either way, whatever your program is, try and push the harder material back and spread it out so all the class ranks are about the same in terms of the requirement levels, and it allows the students more time to work on the material you have for them. I'm John Gray, and that's the Mata Minute. I'll see you next week. Thanks.